Hello everyone! Today I'm going to teach you a reel that I think is really fun. It's called Batch Elders and it's in F major and it's kind of silly. Here's how it goes. Before we learn this tune, I would really like us to practice an F major scale. So, the F major scale is all natural except for the B's, and the B's are flat, which means on the violin, we move our first finger way back, back towards the scroll, and that makes a B flat, if you've never done that before. Um, and that also means, if you're a violin player, that your four on the E string is right next to the three, so it's nice and low. So we're gonna play a one octave F major scale, starting on a two on your D string, all the way to a one on your E string, and back down again. Let's do that. on the E string. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and four, three, two, one, just to practice that nice low four. So you ready? We're going to go one, two, three, four, and then back down again. Four, three, two, one. Ready? Go. you need to know how to play in order to play Batch Elders. Now, I'm going to play the whole tune once slowly. Well, I'm going to play just the A part slowly. And so for those of you who learn by looping it a few times, you can just repeat this part of the video and you'll learn it that way. So here's the A part slowly. me. I like to learn in chunks. I'm going to give you a few chunks to practice before we play the whole thing. So here's the first chunk. The first chunk starts on your low one on the E string. You're going to go There's a kind of a little fun finger pattern there. Try it again. Yeah! If you need to repeat any of these chunks, just rewind because I, I can't hear you playing. All right, um, and then the next part goes. So we'll put those together. All right, maybe you should practice that a few times on your own. Um, and then the next part is just a really funky scale. 
And in this funky scale, we have an accidental. And that accidental is the B. Instead of it being flat, it's suddenly natural. So listen. Did you hear it? I'm going to play it one more time. part and guess what that's most of the a part the only difference at the end of the a part is that we end with a different ending so listen it kind of happens two times with two different endings Second ending that happened, it was just good. And the first ending was just a little scale up. So we could start it again. Yeah, so that's the structure of the A part. Now that you know the different chunks, and I'm assuming you have rewinded a couple times to practice them. I encourage you to go back to when I played it slowly and try to play along with that slow one until you have the melody down. Now we're gonna move to the B part and I'm gonna play the B part slowly, twice through, just like I did the A part. So here's the B part. because there's less notes. So um, the first little chunk I'm going to show you is starts on an open A. Here it goes. Try that with me. And now we're going to do the same pattern but starting on a B flat. So it's going to use a one and a three. Now let's try those together. together sounds like this. Now, as in many A's and B parts, it happens twice with two different endings. So here is the B part with the second ending. Just to 
make sense of those first and second endings, I'm going to play the whole B part once through with the two endings, okay? Here we go. by reminding you of the notes of F major and how they are on the fiddle um, and then I'll give you some notes about if you're playing any other string instrument. So if you're on the fiddle, remember that your ones on the A and E string are both actually low because the one on the E string is an F natural and the one on an A is a B flat. And those are two notes in F major scale. Your twos are always low and your threes are all normal. And you only have to use a low four on the E string for that B flat. Now, if you're playing a viola, my apologies, this is very much an E string tune, um, but the same fingerings do apply, except when you go to, let's see. Don't forget that there's a low two on the G string when you go, if you're playing it, if you're playing it an octave lower. If you're a cello player and you're learning this, um, I'm assuming you're also learning this in a lower octave, you're going to use a four. Um, you're going to start the whole tune on a four on your G string. And you're going to jump to a two on your D string. I just tried to play cello fingerings on my fiddle and that was kind of funny. Um, but those are those are your starting notes and I'm gonna let you try to figure out the notes on there. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email me. My email is daphnepickensfiddle at gmail.com if you have any questions about what any other fingerings are on the cello. Um, and yeah, I think that's my whole video. It's been nice to talk to you. Um, and I hope we get to see each other soon. Have a good day.